So in the last video we found this TSX and took the rear spoiler off the rear end for our Civic Junkyard build. Hello and welcome, my name is Kevin and if y'all are new here, welcome to the series where I build my car using only parts that I find at the junkyard. And so today we're at a pretty familiar junkyard. This is where I found the orange Datsun 280ZX. If y'all haven't seen that video, I took home the rear and the front bumper. I'm honestly surprised that this thing is still here. <laughs> yep. So our junkyard find of the day will be this 5th gen Honda Accord. I noticed that it had this rear lip on the back and I thought this would be perfect for the Civic. The shape of it on this car gives it really nice detail and so... You know, I just think to myself, wouldn't that look so cool on another car? I wasn't sure if anyone else has done this before, so I figured we'd give it a try and see how it looks on a Civic. So I found a worker to help me out lift this thing up in the rear end. I really wished I filmed the whole thing, but pretty much he was in a big old forklift and lifted the entire car. Meanwhile, I was underneath the damn thing adjusting these makeshift jack stands as he was lowering the car. Yeah, OSHA would have had their minds blown away with that. <laughs> with that procedure that I had to just do. But um, now that we have this thing lifted up into the air, I've got the rear lip off of the ground. Now I can easily just reach up under here and get to the bolts. I believe there's four on each side. So you got four on this side and then four on that one. I haven't looked at this one yet, but it should be fairly easy. All right, so let's go ahead and whip out our tools and get to work. We'll be using a 10 millimeter socket and a Phillips head screwdriver for this job. And first things first, we're just gonna scrape off all this gunk out the way. Yo, aren't these things supposed to protect you from mud, not collect it? But anyways, as we come around to the inside, it looks like it's only held in by three screws. So go ahead and undo those bad boys and it should come right off. Then we're gonna take these mud flaps along with the rear lip just to see how it looks. And it seems like the driver's side is missing, so we're just gonna go ahead and move along to unbolting the rear lip. Guys, don't forget to pocket these bolts because we'll be reusing these later during the install. And right here I'm using a wrench because the socket won't fit up there. Yeah, the positioning is a little awkward on this side, especially when it comes to the freaking exhaust that's in my way. Ah! Alright, now that we got that side off, it's time to move on to the driver's side, which is the exact same process. I thought it was cool how this rear lip comes off as a three piece instead of just being one whole part. And so I figured if the middle piece wasn't long enough, that I would just install the side pieces by itself instead, and it would still look cool. Alright, and just like that, we've got a new lip for our junkyard build. And I saw these side markers and I thought, it wouldn't hurt to take these home as well. Kind of curious how this would look on a Civic. What do y'all think? And since this one didn't have the other side, we're just gonna walk down this graveyard of Accords and see which one of these has the driver's side. And oh my god, look at this pile of doo-doo. I don't know about y'all, but orange would not be my first color choice for this car. But hey, it's got the side marker we were looking for. And this Accord right next to it had all the last pieces that I needed. All right, looks like this wraps it up for this junkyard visit. Shout out to all the junk decords out there. Without you, this build wouldn't be possible. All right, y'all, finally got all the things that I needed. Let's go ahead and pack up and get up out of here. And rest in peace to this poor accord. So now that we're home, I went ahead and test fitted the rear lip on the Civic just to see how it looks. And man oh man, this thing looks freaking sweet on the car. 
Leave it to the 90s Hondas to have so many interchangeable parts. It's almost like they were meant to be swapped around like Lego pieces. But as you can see, we've just got a few pieces we gotta trim off. So we're just gonna use some masking tape to mark off where I need to cut. And before we cut into the lip, I'm just gonna drill out the holes for where the bolts are supposed to be inserted. Yo, Luca, what the fuck is this? now they properly bolt right up. It's a good thing these are just plastic, so I'll just be using my Dremel to cut it up. And once we cut our piece off, we're left with this rough edge, and we're just gonna smoothen it out with some sandpaper. And since we got this from a junkyard, we're just gonna clean it off with a nice wash, scrub it up dub. And some of you guys over on Instagram were telling me to hit it with a torch. That way the plastic pieces would restore back to normal. I'm not gonna do that in this video, but I thought that was good information to have in mind. But for now, let's go ahead and throw these bad boys on. Look at that y'all, man this thing looks so nice on there dude, I'm so glad that I found this. The chances of finding an actual rear lip for the Civic was kind of slim to none, so I'm really glad I found that Accord, and what's even cooler is that it's an OEM Honda piece. And let's not forget about the other pieces that we snagged, I'd really like to install this mud flap just to cover up where we cut, but I'm not quite sure on where to bolt it in. As you can see, it's kind of just floating there, so I'll figure that out sometime. And as for these side markers, I didn't want to throw them on just yet, as I'm not sure if it looks good or not. Like I said before, I wanted this to be a really clean build, and this kind of just clutters up the rear end. Let me know what y'all think. Should I install this or not? But yeah, that's pretty much it for the rear end. I think the next thing I'll do is debatch the car and look for an exhaust just to tie everything together. But what do y'all think so far? It's coming along nicely, yeah? Uh, yeah, we're just gonna pull up on Kane real quick, see what they're doing. I think they're working on an EG. First, we're gonna pick up Ethan. What's that, McDonald's? <laughs> I'm about to make real. Oh, oh man. What we doing? We're gonna pull up on Kane, see what, what they're doing. doing. Yeah, they said they about to do some dumb shit. <laughs> I Type think they shit. said we're dropping uh, the gas tank. Yeah. Something like that. Hell no. And I was telling him, I was like, bro, let's blow it up. <laughs> like, yeah, hell yeah. Ready to roll in the death trap? <laughs> it in all the way? No, it's not even bolted oh, in. <laughs> you better fly out that hoe. Oh, Why does it say the brake on? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're not going to talk about that. You just got to do it. You just got to delete the exhaust. <laughs> this thing will be certified. Hey, <laughs> 
Hey man, check this out, man. <laughs> Interior match with the exterior. Oh yeah. Special DIY. Backyard mechanic shit right here. Mm -hmm. Kane told me he picked this up for 400. Check it out, man. That's when you know it's a real Honda, when it has that sticker right there. Yeah, right here, we got the Honda junkyard right here. Oh, this is my second car ever. That's what it was. This is my second car. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, this thing's all picked apart now. That's crazy. Original GSR right here. Engine was kind of shit, though. It was kind of smoking. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I mean? Problem for the next person. If y'all didn't know, this is pretty much like the OG squad right here. Like, messing with Hondas and shit. That's where we started. I had a green GS before this thing. Nice little five speed. <laughs> hey, we're not gonna talk about that either. <laughs> Back in my ricer days, I have, my, I have my brother helping me out with it. <laughs> he said, What are you now? Okay, uh, well, still a ricer, but a little more experienced. But, uh, I'm on the freeway, and all of a sudden, I just dropped down to the floor. I'm like, What the fuck? But yeah, classic Honda days.